Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me again. And uh, in this tutorial we're going to go over how to import a map or map settings, uh, whether it be, you know, just someone, some, a map your friends playing you want to, you know, start that version of the map yourself or maybe you see it on YouTube like in playthroughs like in my 1.0 tutorial playthrough I put the map exchange string in the description so you guys can play on the same map I'm playing on or what have you. There's other uses for this as well. But there's two ways to import a map. And they're somewhat similar, but there is a very distinct difference or two between them, which I want to cover. Because it can be confusing. I think it confuses a lot of people. It also kind of threw me for a loop uh, for a very long time. And you may not even know how to import a map, period. Uh, so let's go over how to do that. If we go to uh, load a new map, you, you can do this, um, you know, in multiplayer, you can host a new game or you can do it in single player, it basically works exactly the same way. We want to go to new game. I'm going to do free play here. And there's two ways you can do this. You can either import a seed, a map seed, or you can import a map exchange string down here are these options. You have an import option and an export option. And then for exporting a seed, you just copy the number that's here. Uh, and there's a difference between these two uh, which we're going to go over here in a second. But I do want to cover um, the map exchange string. If you go to export it, this is what it looks like. Obviously, you know, the, the numbers and letters and stuff are going to change, you know, when it's a different map. Um, but this is very, very similar to a blueprint exchange string. Uh, and it can be confusing. I actually had someone comment on one of my 1.0 tutorial uh, Let's Play videos that they tried to import my map exchange string as a blueprint and it didn't work. Which is obviously it didn't work, but I can see the confusion because this is very much like a blueprint string, um, but this is specifically for maps, which you get from here and import right here. Okay. Now, if we go to preview, okay, let's take note of this map layout. Just take note of the uh, general layout of this map. You know, like where the water is and stuff like that. Not really even the resources. Um, and we're going to copy, I'm just going to select this and control C, copy it, this seed. Um, now, I'm going to change some settings here. And there's something that's very important to note. Uh, you'll see that the layout stays the same, but obviously the patches and stuff change because I bumped up a lot, a lot of settings. Um, however, if we import, um, well, we take, we take the seed, you know, we have these settings and such. This is actually a good example. Um, and this is what we're, you know, th this is what we're given right here. Uh, this is our map layout. This is with all these bumped up settings and stuff like that. Uh, now, if I leave this game, right, if we go to quit and then we go to single player new game again, and I reset these options. So we get rid of these options. I have the seed copied and we paste the seed back in. Um, let's just randomize this a little bit here just to there we go. This is obviously very different, right? If we import this seed back in, you'll notice two things. Number one, it gave us the exact same map layout. Okay, the layout is exactly the same. However, you'll notice that the uh, options for the resources did not transfer over, okay? Uh, going back one more time to look at this, uh, and this time I won't hit enter, uh, but you'll see the layout's the same. It did not transfer the size and richness settings we had messed with before when I copied the seed. So this is the difference. A seed will purely give you the generation the same. So the map layout, okay? Like the physical features layout and stuff. A map exchange string will literally be an exact copy of a map and this is this is usually what you're gonna want um, for, for most purposes like if you want to play on the exact map that I'm playing on my 1.0 tutorial playthrough I have the map exchange string in the description of those videos and that's gonna give you the exact map I have the exact resource placement and terrain placement and biter settings everything it transfers all the settings all the placement of the resources and everything okay so if we just let's just randomize well let, let's um, Let's stick with this layout, but this time, let's just bump up um, our size on everything to huge. And, you know, 
obviously this is very different than what we were just looking at a minute ago. This time, if we export this exchange string and we copy that, you can either copy here or control C as I just did. And we now randomize this. Um, we reset all these. Let's just randomize it again for the heck of it. Okay. We now have a very different map, obviously. Uh, but if we go here and import this string we copied, you're going to notice it's again the same layout. However, it did copy every single setting we did here. And this will be the same, you know, this if we change enemy settings, terrain settings, or advanced settings, etc., it will copy all that. So this is the difference. And this is how you import maps. You can either do it via a seed or via as an exchange string. I would say like 90% of the time, the exchange string is going to be what you want because it copies everything as an exact copy. Again, whereas the seed will just copy the generation, the physical layout generation of the map, it won't keep settings for your resources, or anything like that. Just the like, you know, where the water is cliffs are, etc. Um, so that's how you do this. Um, and then again, if you want to export it, you can just take this put it in a paste bin or wherever you want to put this to give it to somebody else if you want. And then if you've gotten this some, from somewhere, you just take the thing you've the, the one you've copied and you import it right here, or a seed you can import up here. Okay, and that's how you import a map. So hopefully that has helped you out. Uh, again, this works single player multiplayer when you go to start a new game, it would be exactly the same. And uh, there you go. So if you have any other questions or anything, do leave them below. If you found this helpful, a like is much appreciated so other people can find the video and hopefully find it helpful as well. If you are new to the channel and content, feel free to subscribe if you aren't already to keep up with all the videos and such I'm putting out for Factorio 1.0 here. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.